What's up guys and welcome to cooking with your favorite band you've never heard of before until just now, my friend the monster. Today we are going to make a get back under the sink. Ah. Oh shit. Hang on, did I hurt you? <laughs> okay. Okay. God, I gotta compose myself. <laughs> Shall I climb out of the fridge? Yeah. <laughs> <Hold> <laughs> Fuck, it's cold in here. <laughs> oh! It's not that hard. <laughs> Alright. Hi! Welcome to <laughs> Cooking with My Friend the Monster. <laughs> um. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Hi. I'm Anthony from My Friend the Monster, and we're about to make a nacho today. We're about to make a drunk nacho. And the reason why we're it's a drunk nacho is because we're gonna be drunk while we're making it. So you've got your fucking your cheeses, your chips, ground beef, it's very basic. You know, you got your sour cream, fucking the salt, but this is like chipotle salsa, so it's fucking special. And we're gonna make some guacamole. And we got more chips over there, but you can't see them because they're not in frame. Um, we're actually probably only gonna use the one bag. Let's get to it. Don't cook it with the plastic and styrofoam. Pro tip. I don't know why I'm trying to look at that camera. Um, hey, you gotta slap it down though. Remember, you gotta. Oh, you, you gotta start with the beef. That's <laughs> so what's for dinner. No, we can't say that, can we? Did you preheat the pan? Huh? No. Step one setting it to medium brown. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta cook the meat some medium. Ground beef. 80 20 beef is fatty enough to where you don't actually have to oil the pan, butter it, or anything like that. So you just slap it in there once your pan's preheated. And you just fucking move it around a lot so it doesn't stick to the bottom, of course. Use a plastic spatula if you're using Teflon, if it's metal, whatever. What are you looking for? Do you have taco seasoning? <laughs> Here we go, we got some taco seasoning. This is fish taco, no, shrimp taco. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a white bag, bag. it says brown gravy on it. It's like the it's dog, dog food. Says dog food. Uh, yeah, that. I guess you can visit them at swaggerfoods.com. That's weird, man. Just do a little bit, of, a tiny little bit of this, and a okay. tiny little bit of that. That's it. Don't, Sorry do, to don't do any. Don't do. A, don't do anywhere near a lot. Just do a little bit. We're gonna use cumin. We're gonna use chili lime and black seasoning pepper. and some black pecker. Just, can I put this directly on your counter? Just kidding. Does that have that little like thing underneath it? It's still hot. Fuck it. Who yeah, cares? Probably put it on. Yeah. Yeah. You Just flip it on. Put it down. Yeah. 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 Right there. All right. Hold it real tight. Oh yeah, don't you like that part especially? Sizzling, baby. All right, get a spatula and something or a wooden spoon. We're gonna get this wooden. We'll be right back. Get these messages. Ha! Yes. Yeah, and then stir, stir vigorously. It's a basic nacho. I mean, you want to brown your ground beef, right? You want to move it around a lot. Make sure that. you stir you a like. lot so it doesn't burn. Oh, are you an idiot? You should, you should know that. Sorry. Sorry. That's a little hostile. I shouldn't do shit like that. Oh, yeah. uh, lightly seasoned beef because we're adding all these ingredients to it. So it's going to, you know, enhance the flavor. It's going to be a good profile to the uh, palate. Oh, so, yeah! Uh, another important thing is that you want to drain all the grease out halfway through cooking, maybe three quarters of the way through cooking the beef, and then add a little more spice and seasoning. And you want to try to cook as clean as humanly possible because it's a fucking pain in the ass to have to clean up like 18 fucking dishes when you're, you know, after you make a big meal. Sucks. You Slash have, your you surfaces have, and your... Do you have a brush nickel colander? I don't have anything else to say. What? Do you have a brush nickel colander? What are you saying to me brush right nickel now? Brush nickel colander? No. It's, it's, a, it's a type of metal and a colander. No, uh, you're going to drain the, the shit. We gotta drain the, gotta uh, drain the shit the grease. a little bit. Cool. Yeah. I, would, I would start prepping it now. I like to stand around we though and kind of watch you work and just be on camera and be like, this, it's nice to not have to do anything. And help to do a drumming. Kind of let somebody else achieve your goals for you. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> You've got, if you have the option, use the metal, what did, what did you call it? Brush? brush. I don't know, I just make Whatever, words. the metal strainer. It's, just, just, it's, it's, it's ground beef, so you don't want to like, you don't want large holes, because then it's going to fall through the fucking holes. Yeah, you don't want to lose any of your beef, so you use the one okay. with the smallest okay. diameter, you know, with the, the holes. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it away from your nutsack. 
keeping it? <laughs> That's man. Kids are gonna watch this, you know. Oh no. Yeah, just kids. <laughs> and we are ready. Strain the leg meat. Mm. Well, typically, I would do this with no pants on, but can't. They told me not to do that. Put it on in like post. Just take them out and post. I like so. most of your ideas. You know. Now we're at the phase where we start building the nacho. We're gonna basically put down a layer of chips. Oh shit, we haven't even fucking warmed up beans yet. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is heat up the black beans. Wait, no, we don't need to do that because it's gonna be you the gotta, You gotta warm up the beans. Tyson, help. You're more drunk than I, you need to help. You gotta warm up the beans. You're more capable when you're smashed. Wait, I already got them out. What am we I doing? They're right here. We have a microwave. They're so. right. What you want to do is you want to take the unopened can. Where are the beans? You want to take the unopened can. Put it directly in my drink. <laughs> Put it on high for 12 minutes. And start. Nope. Don't ever do that. <laughs> my god. No, do that. Let me show you how to open a can that basically is for people that don't know how to use can openers because they're. No comment. And while Anthony does that, I'm going to cut up the potatoes. <laughs> We should drain out. With all your knives, they're right here. All that liquid that you normally get, like that, just kind of drain that out because you don't need all that shit. Hashtag avocado knife. You dropped your hat. Oh. <laughs> all right. So psych. I don't know why there's two bowls out here now. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray it with some lube. Yes. We're gonna use our lube. Or wherever our lube went. I Here. <laughs> Can I have the lube? Alright, Tyson's gonna spray it with lube. Oh. Nice. Oh. oh, yeah. So, we're gonna put it on a first layer of chips. We're gonna grab them with our dirty fingers. We're gonna go, oh, yeah. And you basically just wanna make sure that it's just like a even layer. You know, you don't have a lot of like overlap or anything, but you also don't have like any gaps. Yeah. yeah. Me? And well, first you get something that you can, you know, like ladle it out of the pan and put it onto the, you know, the nachos. That's right here. You gotta ladle it in the meat. Uh, okay. You take a clean ass slotted spoon, you know, take this, this sexy clean ass slotted spoon here. Make sure that you're not using all of your fucking meat on the first layer here. Um, a lot of times people think that don't ever use all your It doesn't meat. look like enough when it actually is enough, so. You just kind of spread it out evenly here. What I like to do is sort of like divide the pan a little bit just to make sure that I'm using like... Um, Not multiply. Like exactly half, you know, because we're going to do two layers, so... That looks, oh, we're doing two layers? Yeah, two layers. I know, it's going to be a thick ass nacho. I'm not sure if this is ass meat exactly. In fact, if we try it... It, it probably is ass meat. Does this taste like ass to you? And then we're going to put... Our beans on here. The beans! Alright, so we go, oh, oh, shake it a little bit. It doesn't matter if it's not all like perfectly fucking covered, like every square inch. Like, there's gonna be so much cheese and stuff, and just a lot going on that's gonna kind of make it all, you know, be like the same. What, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? Consistency! I guess, yeah. Wait, I don't right? Know. What are you saying? Fucking. You're not gonna miss out on any I'm ingredients. Hungry. Hey, you, you hey, just you just wait. You're doing a video. You're, you just wait patiently. Here, okay? Peanut gallery. The impatient penis shut gallery. Yet. Shut up. All right. <laughs> so we got a, uh, shut up, Bob. So we got yeah. our our meat, our chips, meat, our first layer of you know beans too. And our rude guests. Uh, and our rude ass guests. Now we need she the fucking cheese. cheese. We're gonna throw some cheese on this bitch. Can I throw the cheese? Yeah, do you throw the cheese. Not out the window, please. Yeah, oh. But <coughs> the flourish. Excellent. Yeah, your hair is getting in the cheese. With the cheese, you can hey. be a little bit more. You can shut up. You can be a little bit more generous with the cheese, you know, especially when you've got like. This is. In layers. Two bags, like we do, so. Yeah. You're a bag. It's gonna be a very, okay. very cheesy nacho. Anthony, would you agree when it comes to nachos? Perfect. That right there, that's excellent. 
and in fact, we're doing too much. So it's awesome. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Tyson. All right, now we're gonna make the second layer, which is gonna be the same exact shit again, just on top of this. Question, and this is a this has got to be a band opinion thing. Do we put those jalapenos on yes. right now yep. and bake yes. them with the jalapenos? Okay. Yep. That's what we we're gonna do. You want it to simmer in. You layer them in! Lastly, no, we didn't. Lastly, that's, okay. that's not okay. We bust that's open. Okay. It's not, though. This motherfucking. <gasps> Just kidding. Nachos, pickled jalapeno peppers, la costena. I'm so offensive when I try to Wait, say anything nachos? that's not English. I throw some green snow on me. They're specifically sliced and pickled oh, for nachos. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, you want to oh. drain it first. Yeah, definitely. yeah you, you definitely drain it. No, you don't pour the liquid no, on there. No, you pour all the liquid onto the cheese. Oh, fuck you. Actually. And then no. get the chips soggy. It's delicious. And you eat it with a spoon. Matt. <laughs> people might believe your sarcasm. Be careful. So, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, people. Don't ever do that. <laughs> drain the juice. Let's not put that in there. Oh, that's, that was offensive. That's, what are you guys doing? Really that's very offensive. offensive. I love the word don't put that in because Nate is like, okay. I'm going to use a regular ass spoon. Just a you know, normal tablespoon. Just scoop them and we just kind of place them on there. You know, whatever. Just an even spread, just like the rest of the shit. Just spread them evenly. Just spread them evenly. No reason I'm using this. I normally use my hands, but I feel like people just oh, that's gross. You use your fucking hands. Did you wash your hands? Did you wash them? Nope. Now we put it in the oven. Anthony. Yes. I would definitely like set a timer. Yeah. Yes. About ten minutes. We're gonna put it in the oven for ten minutes. An oven that's preheated to 350, 350 degrees. Up. We'll put it actually right here, right in the middle. You want to make sure that it's cooked. Middle layer, so it cooks you know, a little more evenly, I guess. Now that we just fucking wait. Run away. Runaway train to Rimjaw Valley. We got a one way ticket to lick it. One way ticket to lick it, girl. Smoked jalapeno pepper and then oh, using it. Oh shit. Like, mashing it up and shit and like using it in like sauces and like reductions and shit's fucking bomb. This, speaking of bomb, look at this shit. Oh shit, Nizzle. Look at this. Yes. Yeah, that's oh, done. That's damn, that is beautiful. All right. Yeah, that's, that's dizzle. Let's get this out of here. The onions. Yeah. Let's oh, just shit. Set, set this shit right here. We have our nacho, our drunk nacho, because we're drunk. And then you just top and eat and He's, fucking, you know. You top and you and eat then, and, and you then fuck. smile a lot because you're eating nachos. <laughs> So this has been my friend the monster with drunk nachos. Uh, today we created something very simple that you can do easily. This cost us 25 bucks for all this mess, you know, and we still have more to fucking, you know, use if we need to. So like, share, subscribe, you know, check out our other social deeds like Instagram and Facebook. <laughs>